to another edition of the End of Time Watchman. The title of our program today is a serious message from the Lord and He is telling us to repent of your sins. That's the title of the program, Repent of Your Sins. This is a, a simple and short and clear message from the Lord today to repent of your sins. John the Baptist, when he came on the scene, that was his message. That was his clear message is for us to repent of our sins. When Jesus came and started his ministry, that was the focal point also of his message. Repent of our sins. And this is what he's reminding us today. Each and every one of us to repent. How live a repentant life. For those of us who are already Christians, always remember to repent of sins that we commit on a daily basis. And for those of us who are not saved, who have not known the Lord as Christ, come to Him. Come to Him now before it's too late and repent of your sins. This is a call for everyone. Everyone. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are. It is a call for everyone to repent of our sins. Repent of your sins because time is running out. The coming of the Lord is nigh. We are heading into some serious times. And the Lord is telling us, prepare now before it is too late. Because there will be a time. There is coming a day when it will be too late for anybody to even think about repentance. The window of opportunity is now. Use that time now and come to the Lord. Come and surrender your life. Give your heart to Him before it is too late. Believe it or not, a day of reckoning is coming. It is nigh. See, it doesn't matter. Oh, I don't believe in this judgment thing. I don't believe in this and in time thing it doesn't matter if you believe it or not the fact is it is coming and when it comes it will be too late for you to do anything about it then so now we have the chance really think about these things take yourself off of your mind for a second and think about what may be suppose what i'm saying is true then when it comes, you will be doomed for all eternity. Don't take a chance with what can be. Don't take a chance because you decide you don't want to believe because you want to enjoy your life. You want to enjoy this world. You want to enjoy your money or whatever you have. You just want to continue to enjoy it. So you, you choose not to believe it. It's not because deep down in everybody's heart, your heart everybody hearts deep down inside there there is that knowledge that yes god is real so you just decide to choose to ignore it but there is coming a day of reckoning when we cannot ignore that fact we will see him for ourselves this message this warning is the most important message any human being can receive so don't turn a deaf ear to it today but listen and take heed when he comes as i said before every single person in this world will see him and instantaneously instantaneously will know that he is the lord that he is the king of kings and that god is truly real revelation chapter 1 verse 7 he says look he comes with the clouds of heaven and everyone will see him even those who pierced him and all the nations of the world will mourn for him yes Amen. 
You see, coming to the, uh, the realization that God is real at that moment, just as I said before, when you come to that realization and, and decide to accept the fact because you see it now for yourself, at that moment, it will be too late for repentance. Because he's calling us to repent, to get it right before he comes. Because when he comes, it will be too late. Again, repent of your sins now before it is too late. This is a clear, simple message today. The one other thing we, do, we have to also keep in mind, uh, even before the Lord comes, there is always that possibility that you can get killed or you can die before he comes and you have to be ready before that as well because you can't say oh lord i you know i died unexpectedly you know it was an accident i you know i didn't get any chance to do anything so so you know you have to give me a chance it does not work that way in fact anybody that come to comes to god and goes to god with that story they're going to be in for a big surprise because they will find out that it is too late at that moment so whether you die prematurely by accident or whatever the case is god is calling you to repent now so you don't have any excuse you have heard the warnings you have heard the call to repent and you chose to ignore it so at that time if you should die and you go to meet, the, meet God to be judged, to answer for the life that you have lived here in this world, it will be too late then you have no excuse and you will know that you deserve whatever you will receive. So let us take that opportunity now. The time is now to repent. The time is now to surrender to the Lord before it is too late everybody will have to stand before god no one will be exempted everyone will be judged at the end of time everyone will have to answer to god for what they have done for the decisions that they have made in this life and we find this in revelation chapter 20 verses 11 to 15 it says and i saw a great throne and the one sitting on it the earth and sky fled from his presence but they found no place to hide i saw the dead both great and small standing before god's throne and the books were opened including the book of life and the dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books the sea gave up its dead and death and the grave gave up their dead and all were judged according to their deeds then death and the grave were thrown into the lake of fire the lake of fire is the second death and anyone whose name was not found recorded in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire hell is described as a place of eternal suffering and the torment you can repent of your sins now to escape that place this passage of scripture we've just read described that uh, that dreadful day for some that day of reckoning where you will have to answer to God what will your answers be uh, to him when you are asked how did you live your life did you recognize my son did you surrender your life to him did you repent did you ask him to forgive you of your sins how will you answer how will you answer again you may choose to say i'm speaking nonsense 
that no such thing can ever be. But what if you are wrong? And what if I am correct? That as the Bible clearly states that it will happen just as it says. And I want to submit to you today that it will. That everything that is recorded in the book, these are words given to man by God. They, men wrote these words, yes, but they wrote it under the direct inspiration of God. So these are God's word. This is God's word. And what he say that he will do, you can be assured that he will do it. And he's telling us here that this day of reckoning is coming. Where every man, you and I and everyone around you, each and every person in this world will have to stand before him to give an account for their lives. Jesus is telling you today, you can have confidence as you come to that day. As you stand before God, you, have, you can have confidence knowing that you will step into eternal life with him. What will your choice be today? Will you accept Jesus Christ? Will you surrender to him before it is too late? There's an opportunity now, there's a chance now where you can do that and escape, and escape that dreadful place called hell. Repent of your sins. Repent of your sins. This is a call for repentance for each and every one of you to repent of your sins. If you do not know the Lord as Savior, come to him today. We all need Jesus. It is only through him that we can gain repentance of sin because none of us can do it for ourselves. We cannot buy it. We cannot earn it because we were all born in sin. Romans chapter 3 verse 10, it says, As the scriptures say, no one is righteous, not even one. Nobody, nobody in this world is righteous. That is why we need Jesus. Verse 23 of Romans chapter 3, it says, For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. We do not reach that standard God wants us to, to attain. We cannot get into heaven. And we ourselves cannot get there. We cannot attain that standard. It's only through Jesus Christ. He is the one who paid the price, who has paved, paved the way for us so that we can reach that standard. We can reach it with Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only way to heaven. There are not many paths to heaven. There is one path, and that path is through Jesus Christ. We all need salvation. We all need Jesus. If you still decide to refuse to accept this fact, then you will have to suffer the consequences of your sin. You will have to pay the penalty. Jesus, he paid the penalty for you already. But if you refuse to accept what he's given you, that free uh, get out of jail card, so to speak, then simply you'll have to pay the penalty yourself. Romans 6, 23 tells us what will happen. It says, for the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. It goes on to say, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. You can escape that penalty now because Jesus Christ is not telling you to come and earn it, to come and pay for it, to come and do something for it. He's just asking you to receive it as a free gift today. Surrender now before it's too late. We can have the sweet salvation that Jesus Christ is offering us now. 
Romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 10 tells us, it says, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Verse 10 says, for it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God. And it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. Voice it, believe it, and you will receive it. It is clear and simple as the, that. This is what the Bible says. And it will work for you. It will work for everybody. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter who you are. If you surrender and come to Jesus and follow this uh, formula you will receive salvation. Romans chapter 10, verse 13, it says, everyone, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone. Your murderer, it doesn't matter. Your, you were a rapist, it doesn't matter. You were a child abuser, it doesn't matter. You come and surrender to the Lord. Uh, you, you, know, you have a sincere desire to serve him, and to turn away from your sinful life, from doing those things that were wrong, you will receive salvation today. Jesus Christ is the only hope we have to escape hell. He is our shining light. We don't have to be walking around in darkness any longer because Jesus said he is our light. John 12, 46, Jesus spoke and said, I have come as a light to shine in this dark world so that all who put their trust in me will no longer remain in the dark. So you can step out of the darkness today and come into the marvelous light of Jesus Christ so that you can see where you're going, so that you can know and have confidence that you will inherit eternal life after you leave this world or after Jesus comes, whichever comes first. Surrender to him today before it is too late. Repent of your sins. With that, I'll come to the end of the program today and I do pray and hope that you will accept the word and message and warning that the Lord is sending out to you today and surrender before it is too late. If you'd like to contact me for any reason at all, please feel free to do so. You can find me on Facebook. I have two profiles. Uh, the first one under the name Curtis Minister Roach. This is my main profile. I have an alternative profile under the name Minister Curtis Roach, where you can leave me a message and I'll respond to you at my earliest convenience. Uh, so you choose. I also have a page under the name The End Time Watchman. You can also leave me a message there and please also like that page. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. As a subscriber, you'll never miss uh, when, uh, what, uh, when we have uh, new videos to, to upload. Uh, there are you know, hundreds of videos there that uh, will answer so many different questions that you, you may have. So go and check it out and uh, you will have uh, the opportunity to click on that bell as a subscriber so that you'll be notified each and every time we upload a new video. You can also follow me on Twitter at uh, Roach underscore Curtis. Thank you once again for joining us. One final request is that you will share this video with your friends, uh, with your family, on your social media sites you know, we want to warn the whole world. It's not just for you or some people or a certain class of people. It's for all people. This warning is for the entire world. So help us to spread these words, these warnings from the Lord and share them as far and wide as you possibly can. I have placed no restrictions on how you share, where you share, what you do with these videos, as long as you just share this to help somebody else. We just want to help as many people as possible to get into heaven. We don't want to go to heaven alone, but we want to take somebody with us to help us to share the word of God, that Jesus Christ 
is coming back very soon. The rapture of the bride of Christ is imminent. Thank you again for joining us and I'll see you next time if there is a next time. God wish you bless you and goodbye. Bye bye. Don't get left behind.